Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at some TikToks that will make your day better. Okay, what's gonna happen? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I actually think that could be true. Like, think of it, if you throw a big rock into the ocean and it hits a fish, the fish is literally gonna die. Like, the fish is gonna get taken out like that. So I know we laugh at TikToks like that, but technically that could happen. I actually feel really bad, like I feel like I've murdered a load of fish. I've literally just stoned them. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to agree with him. I went into Aziz for the first time in a year yesterday, and literally nobody was wearing a mask. Like, nearly everyone was wearing a mask like this. Like, their nose wasn't covered, which basically ruins the purpose of a mask. Like, if you're gonna wear a mask, you're meant to put it over your face like this. Like, it's meant to actually be worn like this. Loads of people are just walking around like this. Like, that's not gonna protect yourself, it's so annoying. And then people wonder why COVID has got so bad. It's because people aren't wearing the masks properly. I'm gonna have to agree with that TikTok because it is correct. Okay, this is so embarrassing, but I'm quite small. Whenever I used to be in school, I think in like P6, my legs wouldn't touch the ground whenever I sat in a chair. Like, I was that tiny. I don't know how tall I am. I think I'm like 5'5 five, five or 5'6. Five, I'm pretty sure that's quite small for a boy, but I don't think I'm gonna grow anytime soon. I feel like I've got to the height that I'm always gonna be. It's so annoying. Like, I really wish I could be tall. I'm trying to think right now, do I actually poo like that? Like, do my legs hang over the edge and touch the ground? Okay, I don't actually know. That's kind of freaky. Why have I not realized that? Wait, let me think. Yeah, my feet do touch the ground. Honestly, I don't know. That TikTok is so chaotic, we were literally looking at so many things. First of all, the house in the background is burning down. There's firemen standing around the burning house, like why are they not trying to dampen out the fire? And then she's doing a TikTok dance in front of it. Why would you post that? Like imagine somebody was stuck in the house. That reminds me of the photo of the girl where she's like smiling and in the background you can see a burning house. Honestly, that photo describes me. This is gonna make me seem so posh, but I swear I'm not posh. Whenever I drink something, I always drink like that. Like, my pinky just sticks up and I don't know why. That's literally what posh millionaires in the royal family do. Like, I swear the royal family always drink with their pinky up. Is it a polite thing to do? I can't actually tell. I mean, I do. I don't know why I do it. I just do it. Whenever I was in school, people would always give me so much slack for doing it. It's like, it's not my fault that I drink my drinks like that. Okay, what most people do when something falls off their bed? Okay, they actually get up and out of the bed what I do oh yeah she's gonna hang over the edge isn't she yeah that is me mm-hmm I mean, there is no real reason for me doing it. I feel like it's just because I'm lazy. Sometimes whenever I'm tired and I drop something off my bed, I'll just try to hang over the edge and grab it. I feel like if you stand up, you're gonna wake yourself up and then you're not gonna be able to sleep. And then it's just so much effort. Like, who really wants to stand up and grab their phone? I know for a fact that I do. Like, it's just not worth the effort and the time. But actually, thinking about it now, it probably uses more energy bending over your bed and trying to hang off your bed to grab the phone. It's just a thing that Gen Z does. I don't know why we do it. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, let me rant for a minute. This used to always happen to me in school and it was always with male teachers. I don't know why, but male teachers just didn't brush their teeth or they drank loads of coffee. They always had coffee breath and it was so revolting. They'd literally come right beside you, breathe, and you just smell their coffee. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just such a bad smell. All the female teachers would smell so good, but the male teachers would stink of coffee. It's the most irritating thing ever. Like, it just makes you feel ill. I hate it. But that TikTok is so true.
Why are all of these videos so true? Like literally every single parent does this. Whenever you're out somewhere and you open something, they always put their arm like that so that they can get a few. Why do they do it? It's so irritating. When TikTok said for you page, they really meant for you page. Every single parent does that for some reason. Oh, you wanted a bracelet? For sure. So single chains are gonna be $1 and fishtails are gonna be $2. What colors would you like? You want a bracelet for free? It, that's not how it works. I'm being rude to you? Well, maybe if you had a business that you were passionate about, then you would know what it takes to run a freaking business. So don't try to ask for bracelets for free. Well, sweetheart, let me teach you a little lesson on economics. These brands cost money. Money, okay? So if I were to be giving away these bracelets for free, I would be losing money and my business would be extinct. So scram. I mean, he's got a point, hasn't he? At one point, limb bands got banned in my primary school because everybody was selling them. Like, for some reason, the teachers just had something against people buying stuff. People used to always sell fizzy drinks and sweets. And then they got banned. Like, why were they banning it? Then people are literally starting a mini business. But I remember when limb bands used to be a thing. Like, they were what the cool kids had. I honestly miss limb bands so much. Like, I might actually buy some and make limb bands. Like, I remember I used to buy so many of the little bands and then just make little bracelets. Like, it was so so creative. Back whenever I was 10 years old, I made limb bands. 10 year olds nowadays are on TikTok. Like, I honestly miss them days. I agree with one thing that he says in that video. I hate it whenever somebody starts a business and their friends demand free things. It's like they're literally running a business. Why are you trying to ask for free things? If you're actually their friend, you would buy it. If one of my friends started a business, I'd tip them and give them money to try to help them make money. The whole point of a business is to make money. You can't be giving free things away. That honestly irks me so much because people always demand free things and it's like, it's a business. They need to make money. I'm sorry, I seen this on TikTok. What is that? Is that a stick insect? Like, I don't know what type of animal that is. I kind of want it. Like, look at it. It's literally just jumping around. Is it not like so cool? Where do you buy them? Is that a stick insect? I've got a feeling it is. But I always see TikToks like that on the app and it's like, where do they get them animals? Is it not crazy that that animal has brains and eye and like a body? Like, it literally is a mini human. Honestly, TikToks like that just interests me so much like I think it's so cool. Anyways guys that is the end of the video. We had a look at some TikToks that will hopefully make your day better. If you want to see me react to more TikToks like this in the future let me know and I definitely will. If you enjoyed this video smash the subscribe button and leave a like on this video. Also if you liked what you seen in this video definitely go for and watch all my other videos. Guarantee if you enjoyed this video you like my others and yes I will see you all in my next video.